it's Steph. Thanks for clicking. This is my intro for Clues Special Planning Edition Round 2. I created this fantastic ladies project and it starts today, June 9th. Happy birthday, Jaylon. And it ends whenever the killer is caught. Mr. Brody has been murdered and we are trying to figure out who killed him with what and where. There are three different categories of prompts. You have the suspects, the weapons, and the rooms. Each month you pick three from each category. Once you pick your item, you roll a pair of dice to see how many times you use it. And once you have met that goal, you can use those prompts to arrange them into a three-part guess. One suspect, one weapon, and one room. You will then post that guess in the Fantastic Ladies group, and you'll be told whether that is correct or not. It's probably not, and in that case, one of those three parts is going to be eliminated for you. If you have completed prompts that you can't use in a guess yet, for example, if you completed two suspects, two weapons, but only one room, you can only make one guess because you only have the one room. The suspect and the weapon still count in that you get credit for it and you can file those and you can use them in a future guess without re-completing that prompt that time. The only real change between round two and round one, other than redefining some of the prompts, is that there's a larger window for responses to guesses. Last year I was only really replying on the 9th and that was mostly an administrative type of thing so that I could keep track of what happened when, but I think I found a better way to track this in a spreadsheet so that'll be easier now and so there are going to be responses anytime between the 1st and the 9th. I know some people like having a chance to film in advance and so that'll enable people to do that. The beginning of round two does not end round one, so if you still haven't solved your case from round one, that's okay. Your solution is still saved, it's not being deleted, and you can still solve it even if you took a hiatus for a while. So just make sure that you're posting your guesses for round one on the correct post in the Fantastic Ladies group. If you're responding to the one with Tim Curry in the picture, I'm going to assume that you're guessing for round two, and that's going to be a different solution. So if you're trying to solve round one, that would be really confusing. So just make sure that you're replying to the right post on the Fantastic Ladies group if you're still playing round one. I think that's all the rules. If there was anything that was confusing or if you have any questions, you can feel free to post down below in the comments or over in the Fantastic Ladies group. I'll reply either way. And this can be a more involved project, so if you're a little bit confused, that's okay. With that, I'll go ahead and start my intro part of this video. Since I can't know my own solution and still play, I asked Taru of Cruelty Free Panner if she'd be willing to hold my solution for me and give me responses when I guess, and she kindly agreed. So thank you very much, Taru. I picked my three suspects, weapons, and rooms, and I will now be showing you what those are. I rolled my dice in advance, so this will move a little bit quicker. The first suspect that I'm going to be investigating is Miss Scarlet, and she is something red. Now the way the color prompts works are the same as with Fifty Shades. If you can argue that it's red, then it's red, whether it's the packaging or the product or the scent or whatever. Uh, but for me, I picked this red lip gloss. It's the Fenty Gloss Balm Heat in the shade Hot Cherry. I rolled my dice and it told me to use this 11 times. So 11 uses on the lip gloss before I can guess Miss Scarlet. Second is Mrs. White and she is something white. I picked this cream shadow from Au Naturel in the shade White Quartz. The shimmery white and the dice told me to use this eight times, so eight uses on this to guess Mrs. White. Professor Plum is something purple. I picked this lip crayon. I don't know what brand this is and I don't know what the shade name would be, but it is purple so it counts. And the dice told me to use this four times, so four uses for this lip crayon in order to guess Professor Plum. The first weapon I'm going to be working on is the rope and that's a multi-purpose item. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce this brand, but it's the Lakwa & Co. Cheeky Lip Crayon. This is meant to be both a cheek and lip product. I actually like this better as a lipstick, so that's mostly how I use it, but it is technically multi-purpose and therefore fits the prompt. My goal is to use this six times, say the dice, before I can guess the rope. Next is the knife, and that is something that you need to sharpen. So I picked an eyeliner. This is a Cynthia Rowley eyeliner. There isn't a shade name for this, but it is a gold lip liner. And my goal is to use this five times, so five uses on the gold eyeliner for the knife. My third weapon is the wrench, and I'm going to put a photo on the screen. That is the Lorac Single Shadow in the shade Quartz. That was shipped to me, and I opened it and immediately dropped it, and now it's broken. Uh, so I did lose a little bit of shadow when that happened, but I haven't used it since because it's so fragile, and I haven't tried to repress it since basically all of the shadow is still in there, and that would be really difficult but now I'm going to use it six times. It is too fragile to carry around, so that's just gonna be a photo until I decide that I feel comfortable repressing that. Now we're on to the rooms. The first one is Lounge, and that is a home spa day product. 
I picked this Wish Exfoliating Foot Mask and this is something that you put on your feet and you really do have to just sit back and relax because this is kind of sticky until it dries so you wouldn't want to be walking around while it's still sticky on your feet and you actually put this on and you rinse it off the next day after 8 to 12 hours. So it's an overnight spa day, but it still counts and the dice told me to use this eight times. My second room is the kitchen and that is a Franken product. This is my Franken lotion and I had this in projects and fanning, but spoiler, I met my goal so it's coming in here. And the dice told me to use this five times. This is a mixture of a drugstore body moisturizer, a face moisturizer I didn't like, there's a tanning lotion in here for like tanning beds, but anyway, I'm going to use this five more times. My last room is the library, and for that one you pick any prompt from any Fantastic Ladies project. I decided to pick the Star Wars Panning Saga original trilogy. There is a prequel one that I think recently ended, but the original trilogy occurred last year, and this is a project by Daniela, and she is Cute Lulo here on YouTube. The prompt that I picked from Star Wars is Han Solo, and that is a solo product, so something that is kind of unique in your collection. I picked this insert name here, Quick Slick. This is basically a hair gel in a mascara tube. So I don't have anything else like this. I actually don't think I have any other hair gels at all. And so I'm going to be using this 10 times, and this is a great time to be using it because it is convertible season. The idea behind this is you can take it with you on the go, and you can use it to tame flyaways, which I will definitely be having. So we'll see how well this really works after using it for 10 times. So there's my intro. I'm hoping to at least get one suspect, one weapon, and one room so I can make a guess next month. If not, that'll be okay. I'll get as much progress as I can on everything else. Good luck to you and good luck solving your murder. I'll see you next month. Bye.